game of this EHF Beach Handball Championship. It's the Euro 2023 final for women between Germany and the Netherlands. Chris O'Reilly here with you in the commentary booth live from Nazare, Portugal. And we are ready to go with the tip-off won by the Netherlands, who will get us underway, tacking from right to left on your screens in their traditional orange jerseys with Isabel Barnard playing as a specialist in the center of attack. So there is something new for them. They're mixing things up a little bit. Let's see how it works out for them. Barnard moving the ball well, the hand up for passive play. They do take care of the ball very well. And that shot well saved down the bottom left-hand corner by Katharina Filter. A decent opportunity for Ava Hooten. But Filter had it red and just closed the door before the ball snuck in. All over the top, a little bit loose. So both defenses here, I spoke about them briefly in the build-up. The Netherlands all about blocking. Uh, the really tall trio of defenders in there. Germany about making life difficult for the opposition in terms of creating space and closing down the space. But there, nothing they could do about the speed down the right-hand side of Micah Kreier. Firing that one through the legs of the German keeper. Lena Klingler looking to respond for Germany and does exactly that. The specialist playing on the left for them. Well, she usually does. Barnard is a specialist for the Netherlands. is a bit of a, a shake-up for them. Buter down the middle on the line. Nicely worked there. And that is opening up space for the wings. And the line player for the Netherlands. Not a bad idea at all to focus the German defense's eyes on the specialist. With Barnard not so interested in shooting. She said yesterday on the uh, Sunset Show, which we had on Twitch, that she knows there are better shooters than her, so she's uh, developed a different role in this team, maybe being a bit unkind to herself, as she has over the years been the Netherlands' best attacking player. But Klingler, once again, on the left-hand side, drawing Germany level. Two minutes on the clock here, and it's 4-4. Barnard uh, to the wing. They have to keep it moving here. That's a much better opportunity for the shot, and that's well-fired in. The power on that from Eva Hooten. And once again, Katharina Filter guessing the right way for the shot, but there was just too much on that, and it fired in between her arm and leg. Mulman. Emily Mulman pings that one in off the near post and into the back of the net. Her first points of this contest. Both attacks seem to be in good form here, much unlike the beginning of the men's final. Empty switch, brings Barnard into the center, looks for a way through, and that one comes off the arm of Lucy Marie Kretschmar. Chance for Isabel Katner on the break, and the shot clean over the top, but is a foul, and it's going to be a personal foul as well. Called against the Dutch defender, Meryl de Acher. Let's look at this one again. Comes across trying to get the block, and yeah, a little contact with the arm. And a penalty almost kept out, but just enough on it from Belen Getfart. We'll find a way past Lisanne Bacher. And Germany take the lead. For the first time, Barnard, nice pass into Bootser, save by Filter. Straight back up, uh, looking for the counter attack. And finally, Germany happy to slow things down and set up once more. Mullman. Getfart looking for the in-flight pass and a penalty called again. This time for an illegal block for Amber van der Meij. Not too much in that, but enough to give the penalty to Getfart. And she makes no mistake, two penalties scored in a row by her. Germany all of a sudden with a four-point lead. Prior in the center, line switch will bring her back out to the right-hand side. Buter going through alone. Well done by Anna Buter. He's really stepping up early doors for the Dutch. Get for it. Mulman down the right, fancies her chances, blocked down cleanly, and that was the defensive style I was talking about from the Netherlands. 
They love players taking shots from the wings and Mardiella Faneda, who got herself a red card in the semi-final for two personal fouls, so didn't count her out of this game. With her first big block of the contest. And a save from Filter. Who's really covering her goal well. She's reading the shots nicely, Katharina Filter. That one tipped away from the top corner. You don't see that too often. Get for it. Mulman again. And blocked again. Tipped away over the end line. That's a big boost. And Emily Mulman. Two opportunities in a row. Both of them being blocked down from Van Ada. The Netherlands defence getting into their rhythm now. Uh, that's well saved and no foul called. Isabel Katner with a rare miss. The pass wasn't great into her. She had to lean back to get the shot away. And well saved by Backer. The Dutch have responded well and have a chance to draw themselves level now. Line switch back into Buder. Will she find space herself? No, plays it out to the left wing instead. And a block of their own for Germany as Lucy Marie Kretschmar gets in on the act. Showing the Dutch that she can make a big blocker of her own. Holland, still in possession. And is that an attacker foul? It is. Anna Buter just dropping the shoulder into the defender. Good turnover. Kretschmar heavily involved there for Germany. Nice breakthrough right down the center. Hyperlane get far. Waiting, I think, for the pass into the line. The Dutch defense, but she took it upon herself, and she's very capable of doing, as we all just saw. Germany, four points to the good again, four minutes left. A nice play down the left-hand side. They've changed things up with the specialist coming in on the left-hand side. And Eva Hooten. I think a bit more suited to be playing as a specialist. Her spin shooting was pretty good, but... He decided to mix things up, and an attacker foul called against Germany. And Isabel Katner hasn't really had a chance to get into this game yet. Trying to force the issue there for Germany. And get in on the points, but not to be. Bernard spinning through the center. That's a good finish. And that's the benefit of playing that four player spread across the backcourt with the specialist on the left hand side. It automatically draws in one or two players, creates a two on one situation down the right hand side as Belen Getvard gets a smack to the face. And Mardiella Faneda, I think, is the one under scrutiny here as the Portuguese referees will go and check the video replay. Ooh, uh, hard to tell from that angle. It looks like the hand definitely touched the shoulder and maybe a glancing blow. But Getfart very low as well. I don't know if that is a mitigating factor in this situation. Let's see what the referees decide. And it's a personal foul against Mardiella Faneda. Her first of the contest, so one more in her game is gone. But more importantly for now, it's Germany with a two-woman advantage, 4v2 in this attack. Mulma, and it's blocked again. Two women short, but that doesn't stop Ander van der May getting a big block in. And Mulma might have been better off not trying to get so close to the center right in the Dutch defender's domain. And a chance now for Netherlands to take the lead, save down low by Filter, ball spills out of play. Uh, still in play, rather, out onto the court and picked up by Cryer. And they can set up once more, Netherlands. Barnard, Truce on the right-hand side, ball into the line, beautiful pass! Oh, Truce with a wonderful assist into Anna Buter and having missed just moments before, Makes up for it to give Netherlands a 14-12 lead. Mulman once more, this time evades the defender and beats Lisanne Backer at the near posts. Emily Mulman back on the scoreboard. Germany back on terms, 14-14 in the final two minutes of this first set.
Going through again, Anna Bootser. She's having an absolute flyer in this game. Perhaps her best performance so far in the championship, and what a game to have it in. Netherlands keeping their noses in front for now. Mulman again. Uh, this time sends the keeper the wrong way. Emily Mulman not afraid of a challenge. She was blocked down on three occasions in a row, but now responds with four points of her own. Booter. Putin as a specialist on the left, not being afforded too much space, but that does great space elsewhere. Booter, ball to the right-hand side. Cryer, Cryer evades the reach of Katharina Filter, who went down low. But couldn't get a touch on it with that right arm. Final minute, this set flying by. It's so little to choose between the sides. Mulman again, blocked down again. And what a block as well. Clean as you like. Van Ada, knowing that she's on the edge with one personal foul already, but that an amazing block down. And gives Netherlands an opportunity to take a four point lead here with Kreier, and she does exactly that. 30 seconds left, 20 to 16. Timeout taken by Germany, the reigning champions under the cosh here. Netherlands with some amazing defending and stone cold finishing. Hold a four point lead, 28 seconds left on the clock. This first set feels like a battle between Mulman and the blockers. It's a microcosm of how this first set has gone. Mulman at times banging in the points at ease, but has been shut down more often than she scored in this first set. And that has given the Netherlands a four point lead through their own clinical finishing. And in the battle of the two defenses, it's the Dutch blockers and have controlled this set so far, but still 25 seconds left, ball into the line, a penalty given, little touch from behind. And it's Josian van der Hoek, who gets a personal foul called against her. And that is the key thing with the Dutch defense. It's pretty risky, so a good thing that they have four defenders to choose from. Terval now facing this penalty, and she's beaten by Belen Getfart. Staying cool on the pressure again. Three penalties taken, three scored. Ten seconds left for the Netherlands. One more point will wrap up this set for them. And the timeout now taken with six seconds left in the first set. Uh, this Dutch side, who were down in third place in their main round group, had a fantastic day yesterday. And speaking to them on the Sunset Show yesterday on Twitch, uh, speaking to Lizanne Bacher and to Isabel Bernard. Trust as she's known, saying that, you know, over the years, we have been a side that always plays so well in the group and in the main round, winning everything, but then we don't manage to do it in the knockout games. This time, we try something a bit different. We lose in the main round and win in the knockout rounds, and that's what they've done. They haven't won this first set yet, but with the ball in their hands and six seconds left in the set, you feel like it'll take something special for Germany to turn this ball over and score down the other end. Van der Hoek in as the specialist. No hand up for passive play yet, so the referee is going to let them finish it off. It's saved by Filter, but time runs out on the first set goes to the contenders, to the underdogs, the Netherlands. What a performance from both sides in the most part, delivering as good as they can give, but some huge blocking by the Dutch defenders with Van Ede, De Acher and Van der Maai all getting in on the act. They've denied Amelie Mulman. They've denied space and room to breathe for Isabel Katner on the line. They came up with a plan. 
to deal with the German side. Now for the most part, it has worked a treat for them. Netherlands take a one set to nil lead. Still a long way to go in this contest. And Germany have been in this situation before. They are champions in Europe, in the world, and the World Games for a reason. They don't let things like this get in their way. But they find themselves in a tricky situation. And the Dutch deserve full credit for that first set win. There are your stats from the first set. We'll leave you with a few highlights as well before we join you with the second set of this women's final at the EHF Beach Handball Euro 2023. Welcome back to Centre Court here in Nazare, our final game of the EHF Beach Handball Euro 2023. And it's the women's gold medal match, which we are halfway through. The Netherlands eking out a 20 points to 18 win in the first set with some brilliant defensive play. The blocking has won that first set for them and taking them one step closer to a historic gold. This Dutch team won silver, or bronze rather, back in the World Championship last year. have won bronze medal to their name in the Euro as well, but have never been in the final before. This team, which has been reconstructed a little bit over the last couple of years, uh, new young players coming through, with some of the regulars still leading by example, and that's what we saw in the first set. Germany themselves still an incredibly young team, and already so much expectation on their shoulders after an incredible two years winning the Euro last year, the World Championship and the World Games as well. But a big test for them here. They're going to have to turn around a one-set deficit to send this into a shootout. The tip-off won by Isabel Katner and tipped into the hands of Lucy Marie Kretschmar. And it's Germany who get us underway in this second set. With the same setup as usual. Klingler on the specialist on the left hand side. And Mullman taking the shot from the right. Goes down low, but well covered. 
And Lisanne Bakker once again, the blocking prowess of this Dutch team, really getting into the head of the German attack. And really fascinating that Isabel Katner hasn't scored a single point in this game so far. Really full credit to the Dutch team for the way they set themselves up here. Can they deliver another one? That's the big question. A shot fired in to the crossbar by Bernard. She wins the free throw. And the shot down low, well covered by Katharina Filter. Both goalkeepers in good form here at the start of the second set, much like they were in the first. The Netherlands hold on to possession. Barnard in flight pass to Booter. And Anna Booter, as she's done all game long, has led the way in the Dutch attack. That brings her up to 10 points in this contest. The leading scorer for the Netherlands, the leading scorer overall. Bullman, a blocked again out over the end line. So it remains a Germany ball, but Van Ede with another huge block. Oh, this Dutch trio and defense having an absolute stormer. Bullman in the center. Getfard has an opportunity, and that's saved as well. Kicked out over the side. So once again, Germany hold on to the ball, but almost two minutes played in this second set, and not a single point to their name yet. Getvart, Mollman sneaks through down the middle and finally gets Germany off the duck. They've got some points on the board. Two minutes played, 2-2. Two -two. And that's with Mollman down the center, an unusual sight. Germany mixing things up, and probably the right decision. Bernard thinks about going through alone. Plays it out to the left-hand side. That's nicely worked. And Netherlands responds straight away. Josian van den Hoek, who's uh, played a little bit of defense, now playing as one of the specialists for the Netherlands, a real all-rounder in this team. And they've all been able to be very flexible in their approach, and that is the key for them in these knockout rounds. They've provided something different for each opponent. They've come up with a game plan. As we see, Berlin Getfart from the right-hand side draws Germany level. Buter on the line switch, picks it up again. Barnard, clean throw on goal, lobs the keeper, great finish. Atras is absolutely delighted with herself, and rightly so. Netherlands go ahead again, 6-4. Melman staying in the center here. Really happy to go with the right-hander than the right-hand side. The problem with that, you'd feel, is that Germany are so well rehearsed in the attack that they do have, and a traveling violation. Called against the Dutch there, as the German assistant coach Hendrik was uh, losing his mind on the sideline there with the referees. Ball into Katner, shoots wide to the right and still without a point in this game. Isabel Katner, their top player in this championship, a candidate for the MVP, their top scorer, hasn't gotten a point in almost 14 minutes of this contest. And there's only just over six to go. Barnard, she takes a tumble. Uh, the German defense saying they did nothing there, just a free throw given. Ball at the left-hand side. It's a good finish as well. Van den Hoek once more. Group hug for the Dutch as they always do. And the Netherlands have a four-point lead in the second set. The underdogs really pushing it against the reigning champions. What if Germany got in their locker here? That is a good response. Another change in the approach. And Paula Rapes has uh, delivered her first two points of the game. Coming in on the right-hand side. And Rapes makes it a two-point game again. Boots her. Van der Hoek. Oh, good finish. She's making it look easy down the left-hand side. A full court shot by Filter. And that is the risk for the Netherlands having their specialist shoot down the left-hand side. It was Eva Hooten who just couldn't get back quickly enough. And Filter keeps the scoreboard ticking over for Germany. Barnard, nice pass. And save by Filter. Chance on the break to Katner. Looking for the penalty. She doesn't need the penalty and finally Isabel Kantner gets on the scoreboard. The number 10 makes it 10-10.
Good response from Germany. Going four down. They've managed to go level again. What have the Dutch got in their locker? Cryer, attacker foul called against her. And well, that was brilliant defending. Kirsten Walter coming across and closing the door before Cryer could get in. And Germany looking to make it six points in a row. Take the lead and Ripes locked down. Getting the treatment that so many of her teammates have gotten. There's Van Ede again. He's having a stormer in defense. And the ball into Katner. Penalty one. And there could be a further punishment here. It is indeed. It goes to Meryl de Acher. And with that, her second personal foul. And a red card with four minutes left to play. So the Netherlands lose one of their key defenders. Josian van den Hoek will go in. In defense, which means they're down to one specialist. And the tempo of the play might slow down a little bit with that. The penalty, meanwhile, scored by Belen Getvart. And the Netherlands make it six points in a row and take the lead. Or Germany, rather, six points in a row and take the lead in the second set. How will the Dutch respond? Germany showing why they are the champions, not just of Europe, but of the world in the last year or two. And the defense beginning to clamp down. Hand up for passive play. And Bernard looking to take on the one-pointer, but traveling cold against her. Germany really stepping up in defense. And in this battle of the two, very different styles of defense, but both can be equally effective. And we're seeing that now in the second set. That's a good save. The rebound picked up. And Getfart happy to set things up once more. Klingler waiting on the left-hand side. She hasn't really touched the ball in a while. Ah, that's a great block down. And it's Van Ede again. How many blocks has she made? Brilliant stuff. She won't uh, be getting the best defender in this championship because that's already been decided. But in the semi-final and final alone, she's put in one hell of a performance. Meanwhile, Isabel Kattner delivers the goods again. It's an eight-point run for Germany. The champions storming back into this. So a change in the approach from the Netherlands after the timeout. And just as they started, Isabel Barnard comes back into the specialist role, playing four across. We'll see how that deals with this German defense growing in confidence. Uh, and this time they find a way through. Anna Buter on the left-hand side. She continues to have a stormer. Uh, the Dutch cut their deficit in half. Mullman back in on the right-hand side. Katner, oh, she's flying now. Kept quiet, kept shut down for three quarters in this contest. But all of a sudden, she's got six points to her name. And she's helped turn this second set around in Germany's favor. And it's a tough position to take a spin shot. And they just ran into the trap set by Germany. And into the final two minutes of this second set, Germany not guaranteed yet, but looking good to push this one into a shootout. Mulman, a uh, penalty called. And is that going to be? No, just a penalty. Looked like there could have been a personal foul there against Faneda. Just a penalty, and get fired again. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Perfect shooting from the penalty line. And a six-point lead in this second set for Germany. Cryer given no space down that right-hand side. They try down the left and set. Bootser blocked down by Kretschmar. And it's still the Netherlands ball. Filter couldn't get a touch on it before it went over the end line. Not that they mind too much. 
And just over a minute left, it's Germany in command and looking pretty comfortable in the fence here. Bernard, Buter, saved again, Katharina Felter. Uh, she's the keeper in form now, which could be oh so crucial when it comes to the shootout. Germany can just go for one-pointers now, or Klingler down the left-hand side, worth two for her as a specialist, she scores it. That brings up the 20 mark for Germany. They're finding their feet now, big time, and what a time to hit form. We knew they weren't going to take this line down, Germany. They've really stepped up in their, in their defense. They've made life really difficult for the Dutch. Cryer down the right. That's a good finish. That's more like it. And Micah Cryer. But too little, too late for them. And Germany have been dominant in the final five minutes of this match. They're going to win the second set. And they're going to send us into a shootout in the women's final. Ball across again to Katner. This time it's saved. A little confidence booster at the end of the 10 minutes for the Netherlands. But it's Germany who win this second set, 20 points to 14. We are going to a shootout in our final game of this EHF Beach Handball Euro 2023. And isn't that just what you want it to be? What a conclusion to this championship. Uh, this arena here packed with beach handball enthusiasts. Many neutrals in here and a good chunk of Dutch and German fans. They're going to be more nervous than anyone as we head into this shootout. Lucy Marie Kretschmar having words with Isabel Katner, who is likely to play a huge role in there. I did say that uh, having filtering goal could be crucial, but usually it's Isabel Katner who goes in goal for the shootout. Generally happy to come out and try and force the shots uh, out wide and make the big block. She's done it numerous times in this championship so far. Here are your stats at the end of the second set. Overall points don't really matter. 38 to 34. It's one set apiece. Uh, the top scores Berlin Getfart, 14 points clinical from the penalty line for Germany. Mullman with eight and Katner with six laid on. Anna Buter leading the way with 12 for the Netherlands. Cryer on eight, Houghton six and Barnard with four. The Dutch ready to dive into this shootout. The Germans sharing some final words of wisdom and encouragement. Germany looking to become record champions in the women's beach handball euro looking to claim their third gold of all time they won two years ago with this current team and 15 years before that way back in 2006 the netherlands no matter what happens it'll be their best performance never been in the final before how will this first foray into a gold medal match end for them it's Truss, Isabel Bernard, first up for the Netherlands. Their playmaker, one of the most experienced players, tries to find some space. She finds the space around Isabel Katner. Really composed play. Bernard opens the scoring. Little fist pump and did so well to create that space between her and the onrushing Katner. Great burst of speed and really the keeper nowhere near it. And as she usually does, Katner playing in goal, but also first up to take a shot. Just missing a ball. And in goal for the Netherlands, adopting a similar approach, it's Amber van der Mey. So both teams going with blockers here rather than traditional goalkeepers. Katner knows this. She knows how to stop them. Can she beat them? Takes her time, Katner, it's going to be difficult. She runs into the goalkeeper, and that's going to be a penalty. And likely a red card as well. For van der Meij, let's see what the referees decide. Uh, maybe just a penalty, yeah. They're happy just to give the penalty, and I think that's fine. Just getting the arms tangled up there. And I spoke about how clinical she was from the penalty line during the game. And anyone can take the penalties. Uh, Belen Getfart is going to do exactly that. 
And she puts it in the bottom left-hand corner. Germany score there first. It's 2-2 after round one. Claudia Terval guessed the right way, but just couldn't get down to that corner. And now Anna Buter, top scorer for the Netherlands in this game. A wonderful performance all around. How will she fare against Katner? Katner steps out again. Buter from long range. It's too high. It's over the crossbar. Oh, it's unfortunate. Anna Buter, having had such a good game, cannot find the back of the net in the shootout. And it's advantage Germany. And this is what they do best. Katner with her range, just getting into the head of the opposition. And Anna Buter not trusting her speed to get around. Now, Lena Klingler, and she is one smooth operator from these shootouts. She's come up with some spectacular moves. What will she do this time? This time more straightforward. Uh, the lob is simple, but equally as effective. Germany take the lead after two rounds, four points to two. Uh, that must be so tough for the German players on the sideline, but also for Christina and Magdalena not in the squad for this game. Nothing they can do about this, but they're looking pretty happy now as Eva Hooten tries to draw the Netherlands level again. It's too high over the crossbar. Oh, she's in their head, living rent free at the moment. Isabel Katner comes storming out, forces the shot high, but it was too high. Oh, that must have been agonizing to see. It wasn't that slow in real time, but it must have felt like that. Just too much on it. And a chance now for Berlin Getfart and Germany to really hammer home their advantage. Getfart beats the defender with their speed on the left-hand side. It's a 6-2 lead for Germany. And they're on the verge of victory. Four points ahead with two rounds left to play. The Netherlands need to score no matter what this time. Germany, no matter what happens in this next shot, even if they concede, they'll know one more point will do the job for them. Up next, it's Amber van der Meij. She was in as a blocker. Now needs to convert the two points against Isabel Katner. And a full range shot. Oh, nicely done. Really good finish. Lisanne Backer. She trusted herself for the full court shot and keeps the Dutch just about in this game. And we've seen it time and time again at this championship. Whenever you need one point, to finish it off, Lucy Marie Kretschmar steps up to take it one round earlier than usual when it's Kretschmar who needs just one to win a second consecutive European goal for Germany. Kretschmar does it! And Germany are the champions for a second time in a row. They've turned this one around to win the second set and dominate the shootout. European champions in 2021, world champions and world game champions in 2022, and now in 2023, European champions once again. This machine of a team cannot be stopped. Their winning record extends to 34 games, an incredible feat in itself, but all that matters right now is that they claim the gold. Back-to-back -back champions of Europe, and after disappointment for their men's team just an hour ago, the ladies prevail once again. The Netherlands gave them one hell of a contest, pushing them all the way with a brilliant first set victory. Germany found their rhythm, found a way to break down the Dutch attack in the second set and in the shootout, as they've done over and over again proving to be so cool under pressure. And that woman on the screen a moment ago, Isabel Katner, who was kept quiet for three quarters of this contest, finally came to life towards the end of the second set. She 
scored six quick points, and when it came to the shootout, took on her other role. From point scorer to point denier, she got in the heads of the Dutch attack. Two shots over her head, but too high and over the crossbar as well. And Germany can celebrate yet another title. Four major championships for this team in the past 24 months. What an incredible achievement for this incredibly young team as well. So many of the players in their early 20s, this team has, for the most part, come through the underage categories together. And two years ago, broke on to the scene as the surprise package. Well, they're no surprise package anymore. They go into every single game as the favorites. Netherlands, in their first taste of a major international final, did everything they could. In the first set, they played it to perfection. The game plan worked a treat, but it was unable to be kept up throughout the 20 minutes. And in the shootout, just uh, a lack of clinical finishing and backing themselves uh, against Isabel Katner proved to be their downfall. But a brilliant silver for the Netherlands. And uh, as you can see on the court, they're already setting up things for the awarding ceremony, and it's looking very nice there. And uh, we are going to have the awarding ceremony in the next 15 to 20 minutes. But we're going to hear from some players first, and it's Anna Buter first to speak to Yelena on the sideline. <laughs> 